Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sohn. Today we are going to be figuring out how to evaluate f of x and g of x and things like that from a graph. So, looking at number one, we got g of negative 4. So we're going to start with g of negative 4 because you go to the furthest to the right and you look for the g of x function and you find negative 4 and you go boop, 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 down and negative 4 produces... Negative 7, because we're at negative 7 right now. Once you get the negative 7, then you're going to figure out what is f of negative 7, ladies and gentlemen. Well, f of negative 7, you go to negative 7 for the x values, and it spits out negative 3 on the f of x function. So our final answer would be negative 3. Number 2, f of 8. If we have to do f of 8, we would have to go to the 8 on the x value, then to the f of x function, which also, I believe, that is at 8 comma 8. So f of 8 is 8. And then we have to find g of 8. So we go back to the 8 because we got 8 for the x value. And it produces negative 7 again. Let's get a little annoying that they're the same numbers, but that's okay. Ooh, I like this one. f of f of negative 3. So we start by plugging in negative 3 into the f of x function, which is 3 to the left for negative 3, which spits out the number 1. So instead of doing f of negative 3, now we have to do f of 1. So you go to the 1 for x value, and you go up, and you would end up at 5. So final answer, 5. g of g of 10 We'd have to go all the way over 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And that we are now at negative 3, I believe, right here. Do, 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 negative 3. And then we have to plug in negative 3 into the g of x function, which would be 3 to the left, which is all the way down here again at negative 7 for that y value. Okay? These next ones are a little bit different where we have to do f of 3 plus g of 3, so we need to figure out what is f of 3. f of 3 is 1. g of 3 is negative 6. There's a plus sign in between them, so we need to add 1 and negative 6 together to get negative 5, ladies and gentlemen. Then we have g of negative 9 minus f of negative 9. So g of negative 9 will be to the left by 9, and we are at negative 7 again, minus f of negative 9. f of negative 9 is at negative 4, because you scroll to the y values and you're at negative 4. So negative 7 minus negative 4 ends up being negative 7 plus positive 4, which is equal to negative 3 f of negative 6 times g of negative 6 for number 7. f of negative 6 is over here, and we are at negative 2. Negative 2. And g of negative 6 is over here, and we got to go all the way back down to the negative 7, because that's the y value. So we multiply, because there's a multiplication symbol in between, negative 2 times the negative 7 equals 14 f of negative 1 divided by g of negative 1, the last problem of the day. f of negative 1 is up at 1, 2, 3. I almost counted to 4 because I saw the 4 right there. So it's at 3. And g of negative 1, guess what it is? Still negative 7. Well, what is, what is 3 divided by negative 7? You could write... 3 divided by negative 7, or you could write negative 3 over 7. In most cases, you would not write the decimal for that one. All right, that's all for this one. Until next time, stay positive. I will see everybody later. Bye.